Hey everybody, this is Ryan from Sailing Freestyle. Today, I'm gonna try to fix this water ballast tank. Just one more batch here, and then I think it's time to call it Dunzo. One more batch, a couple big uh, sheets, glass it down, let it dry, and then, then let's see what it looks like. It is the next morning. Uh, we let the uh, fiberglass cure over it. Let's see what we got. Looks pretty good to me. I don't know. Like I said in other videos though, I am no expert, but I mean, man, there ain't no way water's coming out of there but that's gonna crack anymore. I mean, that fiberglass is about that thick. 
So, there's only one way to find out is to fill it up again and see if there's any more leaks. And I'll probably do that tomorrow, just let this cure a little bit longer for another day or so. Um, plus, I gotta work anyways. And by the time I get back, it's gonna be night. So, looks like a good project for after work tomorrow morning. We'll see what happens. <laughs> shut the hose off real quick and then I'm gonna give everything one real fine detailed look over and I'll let you know how it looks. Okay, bye. Mother <laughs> Well, not nearly as major as the last one, but still, what the <laughs> Looks like there's another spot that this is leaking. Not nearly as bad. I mean, that's a tiny little stress crack, but water is seeping up through it. But the thing that pisses me off most is the fact that a we got one over there that we we took care of. It's that is bone dry. That whole B bird, nothing. But the fact that there's another one here under the uh, galley pisses me off because now I don't know if there's going to be more of this. Underneath the floor, where I can't see it. I mean, grant, and I mean, this leak is so small that I mean, it's taken a while for it to even seep out into the bilge. So I wouldn't even notice um, any water coming from underneath this floor for a while, if at all. Damn it! And that is just very, very small. The other thing too is underneath this floor. I already noticed is wet. There's a piece of plywood under there and it is wet and it holds moisture and it kind of makes up around the floor in the bilge here. I don't know if you can see it. It makes that wet too, but I mean, that was wet before I even started this. I just assumed it was waterlogged and eventually it would dry out if I kept this aired out long enough. But now I have to wonder if there is more stress cracks like that. But I mean, otherwise, I mean, the, the bilges are both dry. Man, and that's such a small, you know, getting just a little bit, a little pool of water. And the funny thing is I could hear that leak before I could even see it. So I guess, um, I guess I gotta patch that up now. Thought this episode was going to be over, but it looks like it's going to go on for a little bit longer. So, the more I look at this leak, the more I think the previous owner actually knew about it. Um, so, I've been sanding it. And it appears that there's this like clay substance that was covering this whole area that is kind of a bitch to sand. And um, I don't know if you can see here. You can see now where the stress is on this tank. It's running this direction. Like I said, it was buried under all that clay. Oh, now that I got a lot of it off, it's, um, it's leaking a little bit better. But I'm trying to sand this all off so that when I do my fiberglass, it'll adhere to the fiberglass because I don't know how well it's going to uh, adhere to whatever this great <laughs> is. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I'll get it sanded the best I can and see what happens. But you can clearly see that's where the stress is, even though it's leaking more right here. You can see it's the fiberglass is discolored where the stress point was, and it looks like somebody just slathered a bunch of something or other on there to, to stop the leak and that was their fix and obviously it didn't work out so well so let's glass it up and do it the right way <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
bone dry. <laughs> So, with all that being said, dare I say it, water ballast fixed. Um, Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up this episode now and call it quits. As always, like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate all the support. The channel keeps on growing. That's just freaking awesome. I'm still kind of in awe, but hey, we'll go with it. You guys are the best. Um, if you really, really like what's going on here and you want to become a part of this story yourself, you want to contribute, you want to put money into this boat so that I can take it further and further, um, please hop over to the Patreon page. There's links below. Uh, become a patron. Even a dollar a month helps a lot. Um, so yeah, thanks for all the support, guys. Till next time. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. For those of you who are into Patreon, I get it. But the other way, the free way that you can help, you can also put money into freestyle here, is take the time to watch the ads in front of the videos. Don't click skip, watch the ad, only it takes a couple seconds. You do that, money comes in, goes into the boat, awesome. Also click the ads if they pop up, go check out whatever the heck, uh, you know, people are trying to get you to check out. And when you do that, you directly help me. That is income towards the boat. It helps the greater cause. So yeah, if you don't want to do Patreon, that's cool. Just watch an ad and you're going to be helping me out big time. All right, for real, I'm out. Bye.